Now that we have our standard repeat, we can do one of two things. We can even either print it out and use the fabric sheet in our project by clicking on print and following the print wizard. That's going to come up. Or, we cancel out of that, we can now use it as a memory block. And this seems like one of the things that I get lots of questions asked. So now we're going to be bringing our photos into the Fabric Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, Open. And in this case, I'm going to take a picture of Lindsay when she was a little girl and open it. And I'm going to take a picture of Lindsay when she's a grown-up girl and open it. Now I'm going to take both of these photos and place it in my sheet of 8.5 by 11 fabric. So the first thing we need to do is edit our photos down. In this case, they're pretty edited. I'm not going to do anything with them, but if you wanted to edit them or crop them, we do have adjustment tools or we have the ability to crop them or resize your images. So I'm going to select this image and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to copy it or hit control C. I'm now going to go back to my standard 8.5 by 11 repeat and I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to paste that photo into my fabric. Now as you can see the photo always appears in the upper left hand corner. To move it you're just going to hold down your your mouse, your left side of your mouse, and if you wanted to make it bigger, you're going to grab one of the corners and holding the shift key down so you don't distort it, you can make it larger. And again, you can place it where you want to, and when you're done with it, you can hit enter. Now we're going to add our next photo. Before we're going to do that, we're going to put it on its own layer, so I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to go back in, I'm going to take the photo, Again, I'm going to select it, I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to Copy. I'm going to go back to my workspace, and I'm going to paste it in. This time I'm going to use Control v Again, it appears in your upper left-hand corner. And now you notice, when we drag that photo down, it is not disturbing either the other photo or your background. Again, I'm going to make this picture a little bit larger by holding down the Shift key, grabbing a corner, and enlarging it. I'm going to place it down here. Now, if you're happy with your results, you can save it. Um, you can go back and re-edit them like we did in one of our previous vid videos, or you can add another layer. You can add a border. In this case, if we wanted to add a border to it, we would click on, pick our color, pick on one of our three bordering tools. In this case, I'm going to make my borders a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go to the layer where that photo is, and I'm going to draw a border around it by holding down my shift key. I always believe you should add the border to the layer where the photo is. Because let's say you wanted to take that photo and rotate it. You can rotate your border and photo at once. So I'm going to go to Rectangle Select, and I'm going to take it and surround or draw a box over that photo. Click on Move Select, see my little pixels, and then rotate that picture and frame all together. Again, I'm going to hit Enter. And if I want to do the same thing, for my bottom picture, I'm going to go to that layer where my bottom photo is, maybe click on a different color. Again, take it, drag my border around. And in this case, if I don't like my green border, all I have to hit is Control z Maybe a red border would look a lot better on this one and stand out more. So I've changed it, and now I've added a red border. Alrighty. Play with your photos. Re-edit them. Go back to different lines and work on different things until you get it right. Once you're done, you can save your file as an FS file or just leave it as it is and go ahead and print it.